Hi there. My name is Gardner, your friendly neighborhood developer advocate with Linode. Today, I wanted to go over setting up a Nextcloud instance on Linode using our NVMe-backed block storage. All right, let's set this up. Before we jump into this, if you don't have a Linode account already, that's the first thing that you're gonna need. Uh, you can use the link in the description of this video to get yourself $100 worth of free credit to get you started. All right, so the first thing you wanna do is log into the Linode Cloud Manager. Over here on the uh, left bar, let's click on Marketplace. From here, we're gonna to wanna to select Nextcloud in the list. Now, this is going to set up the basic Nextcloud install for us. Uh, so we'll scroll down here and we're gonna type in the admin name of our user. And uh, we're just gonna go with admin. We're gonna type in some default passwords here, uh, password for our database. Uh, and for advanced options, we don't actually have to deal with any of those. Um, if you're so inclined and you, and you have like the know-how, uh, you can mess with those on your own, but the default should be uh, just fine for what we're trying to do here. Uh, we're gonna scroll down. We're gonna uh, choose our region. Now I'm in the Northeast United States, so I'm gonna choose Newark, New Jersey, which is the closest one to me. Um, and then we're going to choose a dedicated CPU plan. Um, now you don't have to go with dedicated. You can go with a shared CPU plan. You can go with as little as a $5 a month plan, but a dedicated CPU plan gives us a ton of horsepower that we can play around with, with our next cloud. Uh, and if you haven't seen it already, uh, there's a video over on my YouTube channel. You can check it out with the link up above. Um, and we're going to go over some of my favorite apps for next cloud. Some of them are going to allow us to take advantage of the dedicated CPU plan. So let's go ahead and just pick dedicated four gigabytes. Now we can give this Linode a label. I'm going to leave it as is. Uh, we can enter a root password and this is for logging in over SSH. And that should be everything that we need to do. Uh, let's hit create. So now we'll wait for the uh, Linode to actually boot up. So while our Linode is provisioning, let's actually go over here to volumes and we're going to create a volume and we're going to call this Nextcloud data. And let's say that we want to have it be 200 gigabytes. That's 20 bucks a month. That's rather reasonable for that size. Now for region, we want to make sure that uh, we choose the same region as our uh, server is hosted in. So we're going to say Newark, New Jersey, because that's the one I chose when I created my Linode. And we're going to attach it to uh, Nextcloud US East. And you'll notice that I have two Linodes and there's only one listed here. So if I were to choose Fremont, California, you'll see that the Drupal uh, instance is there. So we wanna make sure that we choose Newark and then select the Nextcloud instance. We can choose, we can leave the, the Debian profile, the uh, fine tags we don't need to worry about. We can hit create. So you'll see here that we actually have uh, a bunch of instructions that we can follow. So let's open up a terminal. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna log into our Linode. So if we type in uh, SSH root at, and then our IP address, uh, you can see that we have, uh, we can log in and we wanna type in our password here. Uh, and now what we can do is we can actually run this uh, command here. So let's go ahead and, and copy that command, come back over here, paste it right into our terminal and hit enter. And what that's gonna do is it's going to create a file system uh, on the block storage that we just created. Boom, look at that. Now what we wanna do is create a mount point um, for our Linode. So we're gonna copy this, uh, make dir mount nextcloud dash data, and we're gonna hit enter. And you can see now if we hit, if we type in lsmnt, we'll see that we have a directory called nextcloud data. Now we could mount the file system once. Uh, so if we wanted to, we could just copy and paste this uh, command here. And what this command would do is it would allow us to uh, mount uh, the new block storage device that we created uh, and it would uh, mount that once. Uh, but what we want to do is actually set it up so that it always mounts at the same location every time the Linode is restarted. So we are going to actually copy this command right here and we're going to uh, do uh, nano etc fs tab. And we'll come down here and we'll paste this in here. And what this is going to do is every time Linode is restarted, this device is going to be mounted at this location in our file system. And then we give it a few uh, bits of data about the file system. So it's an ext4. We want to use some of the defaults and set some of the, uh, the mount parameters. And you can see we have uh, options here. We have dump and pass. You don't have to worry about that. Just 
copy the command and paste it right into FS tab. And in nano, we can actually hit control S to save and then control X to quit. Perfect. So now what we want to do is type uh, mount dash A. So what FS tab stands for is file system table. And that tells the operating system uh, which file systems and partitions to mount at which locations in the file system. So by typing mount dash A, what we're doing is we're basically looking at the FS tab and executing it as if it was like a first boot, essentially. Um, so now we have that location set up. So now what we need to do is go into our next cloud instance and configure it to use that location. All right, and while we're here, let's actually CD into our uh, var www nextcloud directory because that's where we have our uh, nextcloud files saved. And we're actually going to go into conf or config, and uh, we can actually do nano config.php. And we can set our data directory. Now, what we don't want is to have var www nextcloud data. Okay. So let's actually change this to be, uh, mnt slash nextcloud dash data, right? Cause that's the location we actually had stored. And what we can do here is actually hit, uh, control S to save and control X to quit. Now, the last thing that we want to do is actually move, uh, all the files that are in, uh, nextcloud config here. Uh, so if we go back, or we go up one directory and we can see here that we have uh, data. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we're going to move everything in data. So let's CD into data and we're going to move everything from here to mount Nextcloud data. And that's just going to move all the files that are already stored. We don't have many cause we just set it up um, to our root directory here to our new data directory. And we wanna make sure that we copy all of the hidden files that are also in this directory. We wanna move uh, .oc data to our MNT Nextcloud data. And we wanna do the same thing, but with HT access here. Whoops, HT access. Now we have our directories in the right place, but there's one more thing that we need to do. Let's also go ahead and uh, we're going to CD into slash MNT and we're going to list. Uh, let's actually do LS dash L. And you can see that uh, our Nextcloud data directory is owned by root. And what we want to do here is we want to do uh, uh, CH own, CH O W N, and then www data, www data, separated by a colon like that. Uh, and then we're just going to do uh, dash R and asterisk and that's going to own everything it's going to give everything to the web directory now we can log into our uh, next cloud so let's copy our ip address open a new tab and type uh, paste in our ip address and then type in slash next cloud and boom there we go we have our next cloud now we can use our login information that we set up um, in the install process and there we go. We have our next cloud. Uh, how cool is that, my guys? Let's actually like confirm that we have our next cloud set up here. So let's go in and we're just going to um, create a new directory. We're going to create a new file. We're just going to say test.md. Pick a template. Blank is fine. And let's just say, whoops, I typed in the wrong thing. Let's click up here and type in, here's a test. And we can save that and close. And now if we go back into our terminal, we can CD into uh, var or no MNT nextcloud dash data. Uh, we can go to admin and files, and we can see that we have test.md. If we cat test.md, we can see that here's a test. That's what we typed in. There we go. We're done. We're using our NVMe backed block storage uh, on Linode. It was pretty straightforward, wasn't it? Uh, I hope you guys learned a thing or two by hanging out with me for the last couple minutes here. If you want to self host your cloud file hosting infrastructure, there's no better place to do it on the web than Linode. But I think that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Let us know in the comments if you have any questions uh, and I'll see you guys in the next one.